Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and this is my quick review of the Ulephone Armor 8 Pro, a budget phone from Ulephone that got a lot right, but is there one thing about this phone that is just a deal breaker? Let's have a look. So Ulephone back again on the channel, and this was the other phone they sent me at the time they sent the Armor 11T 5G, and you know there's quite a few good things about this Ulephone Armor 8 Pro, and this phone comes in a long line of Ulephones that have this similar kind of look. I do like this orange accent, but just want to share with you the quick specs and have a look at which is the spec you think I have the biggest issue with. So first of all, we have IP69, 68 waterproof rating, so this is going to be able to withstand just like any military standard type rugged phone, and that is going to be positive for this device. Then you also have a water drop screen. Now I'm not sure why Ulephone still wants to include a notch in a display like this when you can just have it be completely rounded out but I'd say overall the bezels are pretty standard with this type of phone. You have a Helio P60 octa-core processor, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage with face unlock and fingerprint ID, a 5580 milliampere battery, super solid, Android 11, dual 4G, and you also have a 16 megapixel triple camera. So all in all guys, is a budget offering from Eula phone and a rugged phone. If you just want a phone that won't break the bank, definitely check links in the description for this phone. But like I said, there's one aspect to this device that just doesn't add up. And that is the fact that this phone is using a 6.1 inch HD display. And I'm sorry, I hate to say this, you cannot. You just cannot ship a phone in 2021 with an HD display. I just think that for me, despite the display actually being fairly crisp and you know, colors look pretty good, it doesn't look terrible. But I really think that 720p on any phone in 2021 is just not a good spec. And there are other phones on the market that will offer at least a full HD plus display on their phone. Look, the Armor 11T that I've reviewed previously is a solid device, and this has all the makings of a pretty solid budget rugged phone. But I do think the omission of not including a full HD display on this Armor 8 Pro was a mistake. Hopefully for the next generation, the Eula phone will do the right thing and include a full HD display on their upcoming Armor 9, Armor 9 Pro series. Let's hope that they do. But look, all in all guys, if display quality is not important to you, it's still a decent display as you can see there. And you have all the great kind of stock Android features that you get with a Eula phone similar to the Armor 11T 5G. And of course, you get this kind of nice design. And I will mention also lastly, the cameras, nothing groundbreaking at this price point, but hey, at least you have a triple camera setup that will offer decent results in good lighting. And I would say, you know, barring the HD Plus display, this is still a pretty decent offering from Ulephone. Check links in the description, and thanks once again to Ulephone for sending this one out. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this Ulephone Armor 8 Pro? And do you agree that HD Plus is just too low a spec to include on a phone this day and age? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Look, still a solid phone, guys. Don't get me wrong. But I do think next gen, we got to get full HD on this lineup. I hope they can do it. And this is where I leave you by saying... This is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. So close, Ulephone, but sadly, HD Plus just doesn't cut it.